DigiGov is a web-based platform that aims to digitize 154 government services to improve the ease and convenience of accessing services within the public sector. It is an ongoing project sponsored by the Government of St. Lucia through the Department of the Public Service to enhance service delivery to citizens, businesses, visitors, and investors. Marlon Nassis, the Director of Public Sector Modernization, has been spearheading the recent training for the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property, ROSIP, whose services will soon be piloted on the DigiGov platform. Right now we have over 30 services on the platform and with the onboarding of the, of the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property, ROSIP, um, we will then be implement, implementing seven pilot services and then moving on to another 25. Over 140 individuals from legal and accounting firms, as well as agents who utilize ROSIP services, participated in a virtual training program organized by the Department of Public Sector Modernization and the Attorney General's Chambers in preparedness for the implementation of ROSIP services onto the DigiGov platform. The Registry of Companies is one of the agencies which is part of AG Streamers, which will be benefiting from this process. The registry of companies, for example, undertakes name searches, company name registration, filing of returns, etc. Um, so the next step would be for us to then um, launch the services, um, in a, as I said, in a pilot phase, um, focusing on registration of a business, um, searches for business, etc. So um, that would allow us to really understand, you know, what the requirements are for the users and to really take the next steps towards um, the post-registration services, which is where the meat of the matter really is. Alfred is optimistic that the imminent transition to the DigiGov platform will create increased efficiency and ease of doing business in the dispensing of ROSIP services. Come February, at least seven of these services will be going live. So practitioners who use the services of the registry of companies will be able to use the services from the comfort of their homes or their offices. We are hoping that later in the year, the other services, such as the filing of annual returns, will also be live. The Director of Public Sector Modernization noted that the training focused on one of the most important and powerful aspects of the DigiGov platform, that of identity management. So identity management really is the holy grail of digital transformation. You must be able to identify your stakeholders, your users, as they come to utilize your system. So um, <clears throat> the, the transport department really was our proof of concept for digital identity management. Um, so we've now, have, we've now completed the, the analysis, the assessments, and so we're taking the next step towards the development of a national authentication framework, um, which is government's identity management tool, to be able to identify um, its users of, of the system, whether it's a person or a business, um, we will have that ability to identify all users on the system. To access the numerous services offered under the DigiGov platform, visit digigov.govt.lc. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.